Welcome to SeedProd. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom video to your WordPress website by using SeedProd to give you the maximum amount of customization options in a very simple and easy way. SeedProd is the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder that allows you to build full custom websites, landing pages, and more without ever writing a single line of code. To get your copy of SeedProd, you can head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Here I'm using WordPress and I'm in the WordPress admin and I already have Seedprod installed here. You can see it on the left hand side. If you need help installing Seedprod, there's also a link to a video in the description as well. To start, we'll need a website to build with to put a video into. We can do this with a landing page or a full complete theme. Let's go to the theme builder and Seedprod comes with theme template kits. Here we can sort by popular, newest to oldest or oldest. I'll just select a random one here. Let's go with this one. I'll click the check mark to import this. Right now under the theme builder and the theme templates, we can see all the template files here. And in the top right here, we have a toggle. We want to make sure that this is turned on to enable this seed prod theme. And now we can see this if we visit the front page that all of the theme files have been imported and we have a fully functional WordPress website here that we can customize completely with seed prod. So in the list of theme templates, I'll look for the home page here. Let's go ahead and edit the design and we can actually add a video into this page. Here we can see the seed prod page builder where I can drag elements from the left-hand side here. These are called blocks into the page. So if I want a headline, I can just drop this into the page or delete it. If I want to add another button, I can just drop it in here, remove and delete it. And you can click on the block settings to fully customize every element on the page. Let's go ahead and start looking at the videos. So if I type in video, we have two options here for standard video and advanced video pop-up. Let's take a quick look at the video standard. And if we click the block settings, you can see the type is YouTube or custom. So for YouTube, we just paste a URL in here and we have the width. If that's all you need, there you go. That's simple. You're, you're done. We also have custom here for custom video code. This is provided by the YouTube or Vimeo player and you paste the embed code right in here. However, if you want more options, let's go ahead and delete this one and we'll go ahead and use the video pop-up under advanced. I'll drag this into the page and now we have tons more options to use by clicking block settings and under source, we have three options. We have YouTube, Vimeo and custom. This video, let's look at the custom option here. So we'll select that. Now, right off the bat, we have two options for external URL. If I select this, we can link directly to the video file, like an MP4. Or if you like, you can upload a video directly to WordPress. So if I click select video, this will open the media library. I have a custom video here and I'll click select. Now this is hosted on our website and it's any type of video that you want to upload and use. Underneath this, we have a start time and an end time. And this is in seconds. So for example, start time 60. And let's say I want the video to end at 120. That would be at one minute and two minutes. And you can see that the player automatically moved to one minute. And then if we hit play, you can see that it starts to play at that specific time. If I jump forward to the two minutes, you can see that once it reaches two, it will stop completely here. And we can see that right now. So the player has stopped. If you don't want these options, you can just simply remove them and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and we'll come under video options on the second tab here. And we have different options here, such as muting it, autoplay, loop. I'm going to keep it muted for now. And then if I click autoplay, you can see that it just starts playing when the page loads. You also see a second option here called play on mobile. And by default, mobile devices, when they load a video on a website, it'll actually open it into full screen mode. If we click this, it'll actually just leave it into the page and it'll play directly inside of the website instead of going full screen. We also have the loop option here, which you can turn on. That's pretty self-explanatory. Once you reach the end of the video, it'll loop back and play again. We also have the show player controls, so I can toggle those on and off. You can see those disappearing there. So if you want those on or off, we also have the show download button as well. Down here, we have the preload. We have three options for metadata, auto, and none. If you want to learn more about the preload attribute, you can click the link here to learn more. Down here, we have the video poster. So you can use your own image or you can use a stock image. If I click own image here, you can select one of the images that's in your media library. For example, if I select this one and click select, you can see that that replaces that for the poster. If I delete this, you can go ahead and use a stock image if you like. We can use the stock image library that's built inside of Seedprod. So we can click on WordPress search and I can use this image and it'll import that directly into the video player. We have enable sticky video as well. So if I turn this on, we can go ahead and save this. We got to click on preview to preview it. Now, if I come down the page, you can watch the video player and then it pops down into the bottom right hand corner. A bit of a transition there. Now, people can play the video while they are browsing your website and doing two things at once here. 
Great, let's minimize the video options. And then lastly, we have image overlay. Now this is similar to the poster, but it gives you many more options. So if I enable this, you can see that the last one disappears. Again, we have our own image or stock image. I'll use my own image and I'll just select this one that was downloaded from the stock images. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just come down and increase the opacity so we can see the button here a little bit better. So now we have the image size. We have two options for pixel. So right now it's 100 by 100 pixels. Or if we want, we have the percentage. So for example, if I do the width of 50 and the height by 50, you can see that those are 50 at the top and 50% on the bottom. I'm gonna keep these both at 100% for now. And if we come down, we have the show play icon. You can turn that off completely if you like. I'm gonna turn this on. You can change the icon in the icon library and you can customize this with any of the play buttons. So I can select the circular one here, for example. We can change the icon font size. I'll keep this a little bit smaller. You can change the opacity of this if you like. I'll bring this down just a little bit and you have the icon color. So I can select something else. Let's go ahead and we also have enable light box. So for example, if I click on this and save, let's go ahead and preview this. If I click on this, you can see that the video starts playing and it's enabled inside of a light box. So it darkens out the background and it focuses on the video content itself. And there's an X in the top right corner here that we can close it out and we're back onto the page. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. And if you found this helpful, check out these videos to learn more about Seaprod. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.